Hi everyone, it's Alexa with House Pro, and welcome to this video on how to use the House Pro Project Tracker. With the Project Tracker, you can keep all of your products and services for a project organized and updated, making sure that you stay on track. In order to access the Project Tracker, go to the Manage category and click on Projects. Then click on the project that you want to open the Project Tracker for, and then click on the tab Project Tracker. Here you'll see all the items listed in your Project Tracker and the details associated with each one, for instance dimensions, markup, shipping costs, and more. To customize which columns you see, press these three vertical bars, and then you can toggle on and off which columns you want to see in the Project Tracker. You can even create a new column by clicking Create New Column and then typing in the name of that column. Press Enter when you're done. And then suppose you want to change where that column is located. Here we currently see it at the end, but if we press these dots next to the column name, we can drag it to the top of the list and then our column will be all the way on the left hand side. To add an item, click the blue Add button in the top right, and then here you'll see a sidebar with your library, products, and services. To find the item you want to add, you can search in the search bar or filter by vendor or category. You can check off the box for the vendor that you wish to search for, and then click Apply, and then Done, and you'll see the options that are related to that search. You can also do the same for categories, Click Apply, Done, and you'll see the results that show up. You can click Clear All, and then you can go to Group By. You can group by supplier, and you'll see the options here. There's also a category for unassigned suppliers. You can also sort by newest and sort by name. We're going to X out that sidebar, and at the top you'll see different filters such as the search bar, state, status, and type. Under State, you can click on Approved, Declined, or Pending to see the items in those categories. You can also sort by status, meaning draft, proposal, invoice, or purchase order, and then you can see those items that are only on those documents. And the next filter, Type, filters by either service or product. You can also filter by using the search bar, where you can search for any term and it will search across all of your columns. Click Clear All Filters to start fresh. And here, if you click on an item, you'll see the 360 view, which gives you many details about each product. You'll see the product images and which documents the item is attached to. Below you'll find different tabs with more information. Some of this information is populated directly from the clipper, if you use that, or from whatever you put in manually. The next tab is financials, about the price of the product. The next tab is schedules, about the shipping of the product. And then we have an address tab and additional info. The additional info tab is where you'll find fields for any new columns you added, as well as the notes section. And at the top, we can see the approval status of this product. Can X out on the 360. And another functionality with the project tracker is the ability to edit multiple items at once. Just check off the box next to the items you wish to edit and then click edit in the top right corner. Here you can input information such as the shipping schedule and other details. You can also change the assignee to a different team member if you wish. Just click save when you're finished. Another important feature is the connected docs column and that shows you which documents each item is on. So this item might be on the proposal and also on an invoice or a purchase order. Any items you add to any documents in your project will automatically be added to the project tracker. You can also share the project tracker by clicking export in the top right and then selecting which way you want to export it. Excel, PDF, tear sheets, and tear sheets without pricing. Suppose we want to view the tear sheets, we'll click that and then it will tell us that a report has been generated and emailed to us. Get started managing your products and services with the House Pro Project Tracker. Thanks for watching.